the architecture was meant to be designed by Maxwell Fry and Jane Drew, who were also uh, doing the restaurant under the bridge, which was the adjoining section. And our bit was really tacked onto theirs. But they didn't have time to do it. And so it came to us in the end because it couldn't be delayed any longer. We were really up against it um, in time terms because we were late starting, we were late being appointed. And so, um, I mean, obviously didn't have much time to jump up and down and have celebrations. We just got on with it. It consists of these five, I would call them space frames. Um, they were su structural units, um, which were linked by a raised walkway. There was a, a platform which extended over the river. It was very important for our pavilion that you walked along the river, both at the lower level and the upper level. And uh, towards the land, the five boxes made an S P O R T. And you could read it from a long way off. <laughs> but we were late getting the construction started because the river wall was still being constructed. And then we had this awful weather, um, which went on week after week. So it was really a desperate situation. Gordon was out all the time. And when he wasn't out, he brought work home. I mean, it, it, it was really a very intensive period. It wasn't just us that was under such pressure. Um, Misha Black, who had the, the, one of the largest sections in the dome, the Dome of Discovery, he writes very amusingly about the pre-opening, that they worked, everyone was working in there, in the dome, until, I think, three o'clock in the morning, and then they agreed they would now have to clear the... Um, all the rubbish out, ready for the opening, 10 o'clock next morning. And when they started to clear all the rubbish out, all the rats came out. And they were people who were worn out and exhausted. The, the thrill of the chase, they were chasing these rats all, o all over the place and killing them. <laughs> I always thought that's rather... We didn't have that. <laughs> we just worked on and on and on. Probably the opening was at midday or 11 o'clock or something like that. It was a royal opening. And um, all these people with top hats appeared, the politicians, Lord Ismay and people like that, I suppose, manoeuvring to get in the front row for the photographs, I suppose. But um, you know, we were unshaven, filthy, and n none of us were invited. We weren't there. <laughs> When the public came, we went home and slept. <laughs> well, it, it was obviously very popular. Yes. You know, people enjoyed it and loved it. London it was really drab, and people's clothes were drab. People wore the same things every day. They didn't look different every day as they do now. And so people were drab, buildings were drab, Everything was pretty worn out and nobody had refreshed it at all. And here everything was new, fresh, bright and advanced. You know, we were all building a new world and these were all new things, all different from what was there before. So, you know, we were seeing a glimpse of the future, as it were. It was very exciting. This is what the future was going to be like. You know, that's the past and this is the future and this is what we want. It was lovely.